Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to report data from SSAS cube in SSRS report. Okay, so let us go to SSDT. Right now we have a blank report. I just named this report as report from SSAS. It's a blank report. There are no data sources. There is no data set, right? Now, first of all, let us go to our management studio, SQL Server Management Studio. Now I have connected to uh, SSAS server. Okay, so I'm connecting to SSAS server. Connect. Now, if you watch our SSAS video tutorials series, then we have developed multiple cubes, SSAS databases and cubes in as part of the SSAS video tutorial series. So among them, one of the SSAS database that we had developed was SSAS dev db2 in one of the video tutorials for SSAS, right? And inside that we had developed a cube, right? And the cube name was SSAS Snowflake cube. So let us query this cube, okay? Now, if you want to query this cube from from this uh, SSMS window, then we will go to browse, right? This is how you will query the cube, right? You will go to browse. You will select the measure that you want to query, correct? And then you will go to the dimensions based on which you want to query so let's say we go to pro customer we go query by gender by marital status correct and let's say we go to product we query by english product name we query by size correct so now see some values are coming as blank because the size attribute is not defined for this some of the products right so let us filter them out so let us go to the product correct and let us see where size is equal to and see right now it is selecting everything okay so if we specify all this blank will come if we specify blank the blank will come so let us specify everything else except all and blank okay so let us specify all the values except for size except blank and all so we can see now the blank well rows are gone Okay, they have been filtered out and if you want this particular thing that is filter expression to be passed to the query as a parameter then you have to click the parameter tick mark okay now let us go and uh, filter the data based on let's say customer gender equal to sorry equal to let's say all okay so it will not filter the data but we can now filter the data as a parameter right let's say customer let's say marital status let's say equal to let's say married and single correct so in this way we are going to query the data when it comes to ssas cube right so inside SSMS Studio, SQL Server Management Studio, this is the way in which you are going to query this SSAS data, correct? Now, similar thing we will observe when it comes to SSRS. So if we connect to SSAS cube from SSRS, then same window we will get for forming our query, okay? So let us see how it is done. Let us go to SSDT. We have a SSRS project open, okay? And inside that we have a blank report called report from SSAS.RDL, right? It is a blank report. So let us first of all go and add a data source. We are not going to connect to SQL Server. This M Microsoft SQL Server means it's a database engine. So we are not going to connect to database engine. We are going to connect to analysis services engine, right? So we have to first of all go and select this SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server analysis services. Then we can go to edit. Now we need the name of the analysis services server right so this is the name let us copy let us provide it over here correct paste okay so this is the name of the server then it will highlight the databases inside the server right so these are, these are the databases inside the server so we want to connect to this one ssas dev 2 db right db uh, dev db2 right so let us select that one ssas dev db2 correct test connection succeeded okay okay so now our data source is ready so now let us form the data set let us click add 
and let us say that we want to embed this data set and let us select data source one now observe that as soon as you have selected data source one okay that is it has recognized that the data source one is connecting to ssa's source immediately this is now non editable okay text is non editable so you go to designer and form your query over there so let's go to designer and this is what i was talking about you will get the same window as part of your query designer you will get the same window same interface that you had in your sql server management studio right the same thing same video we have, window we have got over here right so now let us form our query in the same way let us go and uh, query the internet sales amount let's say based on gender marital status let's say in let's inc include english product name let's include size now we want to filter this out okay so let's go to customer uh, sorry let's go to product where size let me maximize this okay okay so where size is equal to now we don't want to select blank right we want all other sizes except blank and all correct correct okay and this is important now we want to parameterize this for our ssrs report so click over here okay so this will now form a parameter for the ssrs report okay now let us go for dim customer let us go for gender let us say equal to and let us say all male or female let us go for customer again let us say we go for marital status okay so let us equal to and let us say it is all that is married or single okay so now let us parameterize our data using these three things right so now everything is ready so let so you can click on okay let me minimize this again so this is how we have formed the query let us click okay so now the query comes over here along with the parameters okay so query has come along with the parameters so let us click let us say we want to time it out in 100 millisecond uh, let's say we want to time it out in let's say 50 seconds correct okay so now let us click okay as soon as we had clicked on okay button we can see that the parameters are formed in dim products we have specified size as the parameter in dim customers in dim customer we have specified gender and marital status as the parameters okay so now let us go to toolbox let us add a text box let us add, a, add the heading for the report okay let us add the title for the report okay so let us say this is a sales report okay control b so make it bold right let the font be 14 let color let us provide specify the colors so this is a sales, going to be a sales report okay now let us add a tablix okay let us align the tablix let us uh, go and add some columns english product name gender marital status size sales amount okay so now save everything and now you are ready to preview a report so let us preview the report and you can see the report it shows your data okay okay it shows the data from ssas right now let's say we want to filter the data based on the parameters correct so let's go to filters page let's say we want to filter the data based on gender let's say we want to see data only of male and let's say among male we want to see data only of single males right and we want to find what are these single males buying okay if they are having a size greater than 50, uh, 60 or greater than 60 okay so maybe those who are having higher weight category who are in the higher weight category right 
okay so what are those males buying those who are in the higher weight category and who are who are single males right so let us see what are they buying so let us click view report and we have our an analytical report ready with us okay so these are the kind of products that the single males who are in the higher weight category are buying these are the kind of products that they are buying okay so you can see touring bikes and right and road road red and uh, road black and hydration pack right so these are the kind of things that this category of consumers or customers are buying right so i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you